Hello everybody, welcome back to Dilly Dally Budgets. I'm Sarah, thank you for joining me today. I hope you all are well. So I'm only going to be doing this one video this week um, just because I'm a bit pushed on time. Um, so today I am going to be checking in for February week two and then also cash stuff in for February week three. So how has everyone's weeks been? What have you been up to? Anything nice? I've had quite a busy week. Um, I had a wisdom tooth out on Monday. Um, the less said about that, the better. It's particularly painful, but I'm okay. Oh, rolling pen. Um, what else have I done this week? I've had a friend over this morning um, and it's the first person I've sort of seen since um, I got this syndrome, um, like friends wise. Um, yeah, so that was really nice. It was really nice to see her and have a catch up. And I got something very exciting to share with you all. Well, it's exciting for me anyway. Um, I have been bought an electric wheelchair. Now this was by my partner's uncle. I had no idea he was saving for this. And I had the surprise of my life this week that he has bought me an electric wheelchair. And this is going to allow me so much more freedom um, and give me a bit more confidence when going outside. I still need someone to help me out of my my flat but it will hopefully this is a step further to improve my confidence and yeah and a bit more freedom and independence so I'm really really grateful for that but right so that's just the money for this week's cash stuffing so let's just first of all go into the purse and see what's left so some coins pound in coins and in the envelopes I've got five pound left for my spending money the groceries oh we still haven't been grocery shopping so there should be 150 here 20 40 60 81 120 140 150 so that's not bad and I haven't put any money in fuel so there should be still 50 pounds in here so 20 40 50 and <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me and miscellaneous still has its 10 pound in there so not a bad week i have um i did spend some money digitally this month this week sorry there's nothing there in sinking fund spends so um if you're aware i give myself 20 pound a month digital spending money just in case there's anything i see online or if i don't have my purse with me so i can pay on my card and I went to hydrotherapy on Monday with my mum and I then had the dentist in the afternoon so she stayed with me we went to Lidl's and we picked up some lunch so and a few bits um, in there and I spent £11.16 in Lidl's on my card and then yesterday which was Wednesday night I have brought myself a couple of bits of happy mail from Grounded Budget so I'm excited to share those with you when they arrive so let's deal with this money here so let me just double check that there was no more coins in there so i thought i had more than that but i don't so i've got seven pounds to play with but first of all let's come to the postcode map so thank you very much to each and every one of you that has given me your postcodes this week this week you guys are all in green so there's quite a few of you, N-R-L-N-N-G-S-Y-L-S-D-G-K-Y. And then I also had a lovely person from New Mexico in the USA let me know that they live there. And I have already done New Mexico. So to my calculations, this actually is £7. This is not a coincidence. This is the truth. £7 I need to pop into the postcode challenge. So that is where... The um, leftover money is going. So let's find that. There we go. Let's pull out this money. We could do a count up at the same time. There's a pound in there. Add the two and the five. So, so far saved. I have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 58 pounds. So that is going really, really well. And it's so nice. I'm really enjoying seeing everyone do this challenge. And also I'm loving watching the competition between Esther and Zoe um, on who's going to complete 
their postcode challenge first. So, right, so that is the postcode, cha postcode challenge done for this week. And we don't need this binder at the moment. So we can pop that to one side. So let's count the cash for February week three. I believe there's 175. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 110, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. Okay, so it's 170. Let me double check that. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. Okay, so it's not 175, it's 170. So let's start with the purse and the spending, whoopsie, and the spending envelope. And we need to bring in my spending money challenge, which is this one here currently. This is from Eva at the Rockin' Witch, and it is the Rock and Roll. And I'm not organised, and I need to find my dice. So, so we roll the number dice to decide which set we are saving, and we roll the colour to decide which number. So, as always, I am allocating myself £15 for this challenge. So... Let's roll. So I'm doing set number five, which is this one here. And the colour I am going to be doing is purple. So five pounds. Perfect. I don't know what I've got coming up. So I'm thinking we might be going out to test out the new set of wheels this, this week on Sunday. So that would be nice. And other than that, I think I've just got physio and hydrotherapy. So I'll keep that ten pounds in case I see anything that I want to buy while we are out. So that is that challenge done. And I can pop the dice to one side. Pop the £10 in here. And let's pop them back into the wallet. Lovely. There we go. So there's that done. And then in this week's stuffing, I am going to be stuffing my binder, which is the All About Me binder. As I only tend to focus on one binder a week and let's start stuffing so let me flick through july holiday is going to get some money and this is my new envelope i'm using for july this is just a new one that i have bought out and july's holiday is going to get 30 pound no 35 pounds this yeah it's 35 pounds actually no i'm not i'm going to do 30 pounds no i'm not I'm going to do £40. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can't, can't decide. So 10, 20, 30, 40. So there's that. And let me find the pink so I can colour in another two suitcases. So there's one and two. So I should have, hopefully, £200 in here. So I've got 100 in the bank. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, 210, 215. Hmm, that doesn't add up. Oh no, because I haven't coloured in the other bit. No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh my goodness. Right, so there we go. So that is £40 gone into the July's holiday because that is creeping up. And I'm at, oh, I need to put the tracker away. Whoops a daisy. And then I'm actually going to start saving for my September holiday this month so that is going to get 10 pounds to start it off pop that in there and let's color in just going to color in this crab quickly and i can't really color it all in because i've just seen that i've written that each symbol or icon is worth 20 pounds so i'm just going to color in the crab's body there we go and then on to Pride. So this is in August this year. And this week, Pride is going to get £40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. Now we go. So in Pride, I've got 100 in the bank, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85. So that is coming along lovely. Over halfway with this now. So that is happy days. So let me pop this in here and let's flick back to the tracker because I need to mark off £40. So 5, 10, 15, 20, oh, and a 20, 40. Wonderful. So there's that one done. 
Lego. Of course, Lego. So the Lego envelope is going to get £15 this week. There we go. So that now has £25. And I'm just going to colour in three of the Lego blocks. So I will just fast forward you on this bit. One moment, please. And there we go. So that's now the tracker is symbolising that there is £20. Hang on, have I just done that wrong? £25. Oh, I need to colour in one more. Bear with, coming back to the colouring. Just colour in this little one here. Where is it? Oh, God, does anybody else do that? Just mess up when they are colouring in. So that is, yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Let's give that a wafty waft. And this tracker is from the lovely Jules at the Scottish Highlander. So in that goes. Shopping and days out is going to get nothing. Neither is hair. My GPHC's fees is going to get something. And that is going to get £10 this week. So that means another two flamingos can be marked off. And this is hopefully saving for £140. So 50 60 70 in the bank now. Well, in the bank and in the wallet. So we're halfway there, which is a nice feeling because these are not due until August. The health and dentist. Now, this is going to get something this week because, as you know, I went to the dentist on Monday and that cost me £70, 70 pence, I think it was. So I want to start saving for my next appointment. So that is going to get £30. And I can colour in... Um, I'll just colour in these little stars. So that's one. How much are they worth? Five. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Wonderful. And this tracker is from Dingley Designs. So that's a good start to that. And the opticians. That is going to get started as well because eye tests are due soon. So that's going to get £10. And each pair of glasses on here is worth £5. So I'm just going to colour in two of the frames. <laughs> By the looks of it, very badly. But that's okay. I don't mind. There we go. So that symbolises that's £10 in there. So I must have done the budget right because the money is right. I must just not be very good at maths. <laughs> Gosh, honestly, it's been one of those weeks. It really, really has. But right. OK, so I think I've given you guys enough chatter for me anyway. Um, I am slowly catching up with everybody's videos now and I have been commenting again. So if I have missed a few where I haven't commented. But so please don't take offence if I haven't commented on your videos. If you think you, I am not following you, please just leave your channel name in the um, comment box and I will check you out and I shall let you know if I am subscribed to you or not. So let's just give you a joke. And oh, it's only the one joke this week. But this, <clears throat> excuse me, this joke is why do cows have hooves and not feet? Why do cows have hooves and not feet? Because they lack toes. <laughs> yes, and that is it for this week's bad jokes. You've got no more coming. So that just leaves me to say thank you very much for joining me. I hope you all have a fantastic week. Thank you for all of your support and your kindness. And I shall see you next time. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.